So Tommy, it's back to league action this weekend, isn't it? Um, obviously a great win at the, um, against Lewis in the FA Cup last weekend and, and well, a double header at the EBB Stadium now. Yeah, two games in quick succession at home. Um, but obviously our focus is solely on Hartlepool United at this moment in time. Uh, they're a club, in my opinion, that should not be in this division. Um, I've represented them myself um, and had a really good two years there, uh, albeit a while ago now. Um, it's a club I still have a whole little bit of you know, fondness in, in my in my heart because it was a, a good part of my career and two good seasons. Um, and I know that the fans there deserve um, a club to be proud of, which they, they'll always be that. Um, so it'll be a really tough tough opposition. There's the man in charge there, I know very well. I worked with John at Macclesfield. And in fact, he was one of the first people to give me a job to help in recruitment, um, which I went on to, to, to concentrate on more more than something else, uh, more than coaching and, and managing when I did finish playing. But yeah, they're, listen, they're, they're a good good football club, they're a good football team and they've got a bloke in charge of them who knows this division and he knows what it, what's required to get out of it. So, as I said nearly every week, there isn't an easy game in this league. Uh, they're just different puzzles. Um, and this one's one we've worked on all week. We've had a, we've had a full week's training, which has been really good. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to the game. And we go into it with a bit of confidence, don't we? Obviously, we spoke before the Lewis game about how important it was to get over that step and get into that first round. And, and here we are with a great draw against Swindon Town. So, you know, we, we've got plenty of confidence going into it, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the group are in a good place themselves, mentally and most of them physically. Um, I think the club itself is in a good place. I think, you know, there's been some relative success in the short term but it's not you know it's nothing just jump and shout and sing about i've said to the players after the last session of the week you know if what they what they did last week looks good to them or big to them they've done nothing today so you know, it's all about the next game and the next game and i have to say that because there are bumps in the road going to be in front of us and when we hit one of them bumps we've got to jump back on the bus and get get back on the upward trend so you know we, we we've been nothing but positive for quite a while now i'd say probably since the Filed and then Boreham Wood games. I think we've been really consistent as a group. The team hasn't changed a particular amount, but what's going to change definitely in the next game or so will be that the bench will be much stronger because one or two that have had knocks and niggles for a little while, longer than we thought they would have had, um, are now starting to appear back on the training ground, which is always great for me. Um, tough for the lads who are going to be moved around or you know rested, whatever you want to call it, but the squad is there to be used and I will, and I will be using it. If we can go into a, a little bit more detail on those those injuries and stuff, obviously Kwame Thomas and Tyler Frost are now making their way back, but obviously you've got people like Ollie Scott, Ethan Burnett, who have had a few knocks recently, haven't they? And and they've obviously been away from action for a while now. Is there any update on those? Yeah, unfortunately Ethan's going to have to have a little surgery on his knee, which is disappointing for him and for us, because I thought he was progressing really well, although he, wasn't, he was only getting cameo performances. He was doing what I wanted him to do in them performances. Ollie Scott's had a setback and we're not sure the length of time that, that he'll be missing. So they're, they're two, I, unfortunately, and as a manager, you've got to put them to the back of your mind, along with the Stewarts and the Christians and the Haddies at this moment. So they're the five that I really have sort of put them to the back of my head until probably mid-November now. Um, but on the basis of that, um, there might well be one or two come in the building if I can get one or two to go out the building. Everybody knows that Keen Anderson's now gone to Shoaling and um, we're hoping for another, at least one to go out on another loan and possibly another one on a permanent. And in terms of squad depth, obviously the academy have um, got through in the FA Youth Cup as well. So uh, there's potential there, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, it's their job to push the development squad and uh, that's happening. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I made the decision to go and see Ashley Akpan myself down at Hartley Whitney. I thought he was excellent. Um, and on the back of that, we've taken him out of step four and put him into step three which is progression. Me, the staff, were, and a few of the players actually were down at the uh, the EBB on Monday night to watch the lads progress in the FA Youth Cup. And I thought, to a man, I thought they did really, really well. One or two outstanding performances um, in a really good team performance, which is what I want as is, is the first team manager. I want to see that right through the club. Um, like I said, Ollie Turner's trained with us now solidly for the last two weeks and I class him as part of our group rather than part of the development group. So, um, yeah, I mean... I might not be the manager that, that bears the fruit of the kids who are 16, 17, 18, but certainly the ones that are around Ryan in the development group, they, they have an opportunity. Like you, you mentioned, we can mention Max, Maxwell Mullins, uh, Keen Anderson, Ashley Akpan, Ollie Turner, they're all training with me, George Milner-Smith on a regular basis. 
Um, and there's others, there's others who aren't as prominent as them or well known as, the, as they are to the to the fans, but they are to us. We know near enough every player now in, in the building. So I think that's part of what I have to do, help create pathways. The youth team have to get into the into the development group and once they're in the development group, it's up to them then to try and push themselves into the first team group. We're a young group, you know, we've got we've got players, if you look at our front line last week, we had a 21 year old, a 19 year old and, and a 20 year old. So, you know, people forget, we, we missed Jack last week, excuse me, we missed Kwame last week um, and we missed Tyler Frost last week and hopefully they're all nearing full fitness, I'd say. So yeah, like I said, you're only as strong as your bench and, and when I look back on Saturday I know there'll be no hesitation if I need to make a particular change I've got five blokes on the bench that can start games for me.